This is a live look over our chamber cam where yesterday they're going to rebrand the Idaho Falls Chamber Cover. Big reveal going on over there. So that's exciting. Uh, make sure you stay tuned because we'll have more for you on that today throughout the course of the day and on our website at localnews8.com. Make that your home page as well. Download the KIFI weather app. If yesterday wasn't proof enough that you need to stay on top of the storms before they stay on top of you with hail, flash flood warnings into Pocatello yesterday. They had to shut down the Center Street overpass there headed into Old Town. It, it just, it's just too much water. You can't go anywhere. And the drains are all clogged up from us having snow and runoff and sweeping the streets. And I've already had to buy it. You know, if the potholes didn't get you when they were around, something else will get you now with all the debris that has been flowing around. I got a nail in my tire the other day. I was like, really? Okay. And a brand new tire, too. I took my snow tires off and, and it had a hole in my tire. 78 in Idaho Falls. You know how hard it is to drive on three tires? <laughs> I'm saving up. I'm waiting on payday. Today's the day. 43 this morning's low uh, right there in the 40s as well, but a little more mild. It is 50 degrees. We hovered down to about 49. That's Rexburg. There's some sun out at the jet port past the GMC store and about 50 uh, or so degrees in Idaho Falls from time to time, depending on where you are. 52 in Blackfoot. It's 41 in Soda. We're at 37 with some overcast conditions, some fog actually sinking in uh, down below the pass in the Jackson. The winds are light this morning as opposed to 60 mile an hour wind gusts with those storms yesterday into Pocatello. This is uh, the picture of which I'm speaking. 22 looking down into the uh, almost like you're on top of the sun there with the fluffy clouds. Almost like a sweet potato casserole with marshmallows on top. Oh, man. Doesn't that sound good right about now? You got to understand I've been up since 1 a.m. It's time to eat. Uh, mid to upper 70s today. We'll pop close to 80 degrees. You'll notice on this Vipercast, which is teed up for Idaho Falls, I don't have a thunderbolt on there. There's about a 40% chance. I think there's more of a tendency for us to be dry in the valley today. Now, don't, don't get me wrong. There may be a storm that crops up here or there. But really, we're going to confine most of the activity today into the central mountain areas. So salmon, be on the lookout. Probably a little cooler for you and a chance of a storm we get into tomorrow. And this low that is edging out of here, which has caused all this ruckus here the past couple of days, it's been the mechanism for this flow that we've had, is going to move over to Wyoming, head toward Montana. But with that, it's going to backspin and put showers and storms in here for tomorrow. So our winds are going to change. It's going to start cooling down with another system that joins us on into Thursday. So watch. This is into the afternoon today into the backside of the state. We get showers and storms into the central mountain areas as well. We calm overnight. There's the low. It starts to backspin into tomorrow and we put shower chances into the valley and the upper highlands and along the state line and we'll accumulate some showers. 50% uh, chance into tomorrow for IF. Looks like Saturday is going to be wet as well. A good chance of it around here. So for the afternoon with our flood warnings that are in effect and flood advisories over into the state line, 75 for Rexburg, 80s could be popping this afternoon, 71 in Soda and about 74 in Salmon. So a little bit of a cool down for you as you were in the upper 70s yesterday and a rogue storm may cool you off. So close to 80 into Blackfoot as well and then into the low 70s by the time we get to Friday. And the cold front cools us off a good notch or two. Normally our temperatures should be in the low 70s. We're above average. Salmon's going to be in the mid 70s for the next couple of days. Then we slide on into the low 70s for Friday and we put about a 40% chance of a storm in here for the upper central mountain areas. For Jackson, you get to ramp up to more storms and get the cool down on about 10 degrees over the next couple of days. Pocatello is going to be 81 today and then we'll open up Ross Park again this weekend. It's going to be a little cooler so you need a fluffy towel and perhaps a heated vest like I'm wearing now. It'll be 70. <laughs> this is weather Kevlar by the way. 79 from Farrell's. It'll be down to 48 tonight and we'll be headed more toward 70 degrees. So some chilly rains on into the weekend. Back to the anchor team. All right. Thanks.